I think that a student should have the right to hold up an ISIS flag. I mean, it will stir debate, it would be outrageous, but he has the right to do so constitutionally. In October, George Washington University police demanded student Rami Abunaja remove the Palestinian flag hanging from his dorm window, claiming they'd received multiple complaints from other students. Abunaja complied with the cops' demands, but wondered why the police targeted his flag for removal, and not any of the other national flags hanging from dorm windows across campus. I believe that my flag was taken down because it was a Palestinian flag. If you fart in the direction of Israel, you get a huge backlash. University President Stephen Knapp did eventually apologize to Abu Naja, but the incident is still a reminder of how college students use police and administrators to censor people they disagree with. Left-leaning commenters like Glenn Greenwald and Matt Iglesias contend that free speech advocates overlook the censorship of pro-Palestinian voices. The University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign recently fired Professor Stephen Salaita for his anti-Israel tweets, and the University of California is attempting to suppress criticism of the state of Israel as part of an overly broad restriction of anti-Semitic hate speech. But censorship runs both ways. There are plenty of examples of pro-Palestinian students trying to shut down pro-Israel speech on campus, too. In fact, students from all sorts of political groups try to censor their opponents, and university administrators are all too eager to comply. So who's the biggest loser in the campus free speech wars? It's a question that's nearly impossible to answer, and one that ultimately misses the point. If one person's free expression rights can be crushed underfoot by an overzealous administrator, campus security officer, or emotionally insecure student, then everyone on campus is in danger. Since hateful and offensive are relative terms, we can't protect the kind of speech we like unless we're willing to also defend speech we utterly despise. If a person is offended by seeing a flag, what do you think they should do? Well, they should definitely voice that concern. I mean, that's why we're here, to express yourself freely. Uh, I do not think that they should attempt to exploit any uh, university infrastructure or mechanisms like the policing uh, structure that was, that was the case with Rami to silence those views. Instead, open a conversation. More speech, less police? Absolutely. That's a general rule in life.